Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a sort of get ready with me, testing out Marc Jacobs beauty products. Um, Evie who commented on the picture that I put on my Facebook, I said she'd like to see a video so this is for you Evie. Thank you uh, for the suggestion. Um, so I bought the Marc Jacobs Major Minis, which is um, a seven piece travel size, yeah, seven piece travel size beauty bestseller set. Um, it's mini, so it's not as expensive as buying, you know, the full size stuff, which is why I got it. And I got this from Harvey Nichols, and I think it was like 20% off as well. So bargainous all round. Now this has um, the Perfecting Coconut Face Primer, Coconut Gel Highlighter, oh, Dewdrops Coconut Gel Highlighter, Petite Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayon, um, and Actually, there's two of those. Petite Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. Bit of a mouthful. Um, Petite Le Marc Lip Cream. Uh, so that's like a lipstick. And High Shine Gloss Lip Lacquer. So, let's dive in. Now, I've done my usual cleanse moisturize and what I've decided to do is I did half this half of my face with my usual primer my usual go-to at the moment which is the Makeup Academy Pro Base moisturizer one and I'm going to do this half with the Marc Jacobs undercover perfecting coconut face primer Let's see if there's any difference so you can't do quite a full face of makeup with this Obviously it doesn't come with all the products you need for a full face. Um, do you know, I will put this on my lid actually, see how it goes. Sometimes I put my normal face primer on my lid, sometimes I don't. Um, oh yeah, how cute is this? Should I hold it up? Zoom. Well done, Becky. So I can't have nice things. Where did that little sound go? Oh. Oh. One second. Whew. Not gonna lie, that was uh, <laughs> difficult to find. Unfortunately, like, I was about to give up because I did feel a painful neck twinge. Uh, but I didn't give up and I found it. I managed to fall into a box on the floor full of makeup palettes. Um, so yeah, that's this. Focus. Like my face is in focus, so. It's small, white, very cute. Doesn't want to focus, hang on. People go like that, don't they? So he keeps picking up my face. Let's do the camera. Behind, behind my hand. It's not going to focus fully. It just says Marc Jacobs on it. It's white. That's all there is to say. I'm out of breath. I'm trying to find a stupid thing. Oh, I'm so out of shape. I don't know. I don't know if I'd say that smells like coconut. It is scented. I guess it's like ever so slightly coconut. So it's great that it's not heavily scented. I know a lot of people don't like that. And the more fragranced products like these are, the more likely you are to have an allergic reaction. So, I've uh, put a bit of... What's the... Perfect... No. Colour corrector, that is it, on my nose. And a little bit dotted around. Um, I got the green for some spots. The Revolution Colour Correct. 
Correct and Fix Primer. I don't know why it has so many names on it. Like, <laughs> my brain is just slowly ticking over. So yeah, it's just standard. Quite a big tube. And then my usual peach one to correct the darkness. Um, it's the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Um, so, this doesn't have foundation. But I do have a new foundation that I wanted to try. I don't know why I'm looking around for it. It's like literally could not be more central to the front of my face. This is a product that intrigued me. I think this is fairly old, but I never really wear number seven anymore. I don't know why. I don't think I ever wore number seven foundation. Um, so yeah, this is a very simple tube, 40 mils. A 1.3 fluid ounce. This is Intelligent Cover Colour Foundation, which is supposed to match your skin tone. Uh, I got it in medium because I'd say I'm like a light medium at the moment. Uh, edging a little bit more towards medium because I did pick up a little bit of sun despite having factor 50 on the other day. Oh, I forgot that this has got those little foils. Uh, acrylics make everything harder but they're so pretty I wish I had my tweezers in here ah uh, got it got there in the end so this only comes in three colours literally light, medium and dark because it's colour correct um, yeah because it's supposed to adjust to your uh, complexion you don't actually need you know specifically a specific colour you just need the right range being light medium or dark and just putting some the peach correct on this side now that I've got primer on this part of my face yeah. uh, my beauty blend is a little damp not massively my Max Fix Plus Prep and Prime one on it. Make it a bit damper. Weirdly, this smells more like coconut than the other thing. I don't know why. Really wet that. I can't bother to go to the bathroom. Maybe push this into my face. I put a little bit of the. Uh, Peach perfecto, but I call it my eyes because it's very dark there. I gotta say, interestingly, these are. Uh, this corrector did not respond well to a wet sponge. Just like completely come off. I can't bother to break out the green one yet, so I'll just do that. Put it under my eyes because sometimes I do colour correct under my eyes. So that my concealer doesn't have to work as hard. I'm going to use the other end of it because it's dry. I've been fading the uh, dark acne scars um, with some 10% glycolic cream recently but it does still take a bit of time to uh, actually fade it. Um, I'm not going to put any eyeshadow on today, I don't think. Actually, maybe I should have done it before I go in with foundation. Actually, no, that's not. So, oh, that's quite brown. Let's see if it does... Uh, what it says on the tin. I don't 
think it says. Oh, it's supposed to shake well. Definitely didn't shake well. Should have read the back. It's not very liquidy, so like that's not running anywhere. Um, does a little way you need it most. Usually cheeks, nose, and chin blend smoothly and evenly with your fingers or a sponge, working downwards and outwards from the center of your face. Let's pop a little on my nose. Bit on my chin. Let's do this thing. I can't see this having a lot of coverage, which now that we're getting like, you know, towards summer months, isn't a bad thing if you want to just let like, you know even out your complexion a bit you know without caking on some foundation especially if you're like me and you're just gonna sweat it all off anyway like waterproof makeup is one thing but it doesn't it's not Waterproof makeup is not sweatproof makeup because waterproof means outside external wet forces, so like rain or having water chucked on you, it, it prevents that sliding off. But sweatproof because it's coming from in your skin outwards uh, and it's a bit salty, it does not last. Do you know what? Even though that is not. That is like the sheerest cover ever. That really did work quite well. Um, colour correcting itself. Like, mapped me pretty well. Like, I don't know if you can tell because I do have the bright ring light on. But believe me, that it just makes my skin have a nice glow. I think it's made me look ever so slightly tan actually, which is fine with me because I am pale. Um, I'm going to dim the light a little bit, see if you can see. Unfortunately my light's really far. You can get a nice uh, zoom of this bit. So let's turn that out, this is just with the overhead light on. Not much sunlight in the window, so the sun's setting now. I think it's like 9 pm. Yep, yeah, 9 pm. Oh, look at that, that's pretty good. I would still want to spot conceal over that bit, at, like at the very least. Ooh. But what I want to do actually is see if it's buildable. So yeah, sheer natural finish, velvety soft, easily blended, and so amazingly light you'll forget it's there. I can believe it. I can believe these claims. It is actually, I totally missed that, how velvety soft this is. It feels a bit mousse-like, which I don't mind, that kind of texture. Um... I'll leave below the price of this. If you live in the UK, you'll probably know that you can get number seven in boots. I think you can only get it in boots here. I do know in America, they sell it in Walmart. And I think that's because Walmart actually owns um, boots now. Or, or is that Walgreens? I don't know. It's all the same to me, I don't know these American stores really. This would be interesting to see. Actually, I should have done half of my face with a sponge and half of just my fingers. To see, because I'm sure that would affect the coverage. Like, I'm not 100%, but this is probably, the sponge is probably soaking in quite a bit of it. If I knew where any of them was, you should put um, silicone primer on your sponge because it stops it absorbing as much. But I stopped wearing silicone primers for like the last couple of months, so I can't remember where any of mine are. But yeah, let's just still blend that in. I say it doesn't look like it's 
just take into the skin here. This looks lighter. What, and that's where the perfecto was, which is interesting. I'll try this tomorrow and I'll do it with my fingers. And uh, I put a, I look for my silicone primer because I'm certain I didn't throw it away. And I'll see, you know, if that stops it absorbing. I'll see if it is absorbing it. Let's just use my finger. I'll do half tomorrow with um, I could use a brush as well on a different day I could just do a brush here with this part um, the blender, beauty blender with a, a silicone primer on this side and my fingers and on my cheeks I just sort of like meet in the middle for my chin and my neck um once this darkness has gone here I don't think I would mind wearing this you know in the summer this would like you could just pop this on so quickly in the day if you're not like super fussed about your skin Pop a bit of mascara on, eyeliner maybe, some lipstick or gloss. Bang, you're good to go. Next product is, this is a new product. I used this earlier today actually. Number seven, also, this is the, this is definitely new. This is the Hydra Luminous Dark Circle Concealer. Uh, I'm trying to see the color. Probably somewhere on the medium spectrum. No, visibly fresh and radiant skin suitable for sensitive skin it's got those sponges on the end like that Maybelline one the age rewind um, dot it under the eyes uh, blend in outwards wipe off excess product on the sponge with a dry tissue only And see there a little bit it's got a I don't know if you can see actually <laughs> use the hand a little bit of box of the light it's just sat right on top hang on get super close come on focus there we go oh, there we go mm, I've got some foundation on my hand let's put that over that part as well it's absorbing like right into my skin the reason I got this is because um, under my eyes is actually very dry so I can't ever powder my eyes the shape tape concealer and most concealers is actually too drying for my under eye area Which is very, very annoying. I don't think I put any of the foundation on my uh, lids. Let's put some of this on it. You're not supposed to use this, I don't think, to actually blend into the skin. Ugh. Get the loo roll that I keep next to me in a minute. Just squeeze the excess off uh, the sponge applicator like it suggests. And then I'm going to use the tip of my beauty blender to pat that in. I think this is actually a light medium colour. You can see that's lighter than the foundation. I'm 
what I noticed I sold a, I think I'm not too zoomed in today and I don't have to like lean my head back like that or sit weirdly to be seen and that is because I'm actually sitting on this little seat thing I had for like I used to sit put it on my scooter and it helped to keep my hips more level um, to reduce back pain so I'm sitting on that it does give me a height boost that doesn't look too bad actually under my eyes it's not looking dry at all two thumbs up not bad face now I'm going to use that's the Marc Jacobs products I'm going to use the look at this little pencil obviously it's little because you know it's part of the mini why do I find it hard to just like hold stuff up a nice uh, silvery chrome uh, pencil um, my hands, my fingers are slippery because of the moisturiser and all the product that I use in my hand. Um, this is a gel crayon in black. What does it say the size? Oh, net weight is 0 0.37 grams. So it's less than a gram, less than a half a gram. You can twist up the bottom to get more of the pigment out, the actual crayon. I could not think of the word then. I'm going to lean on the table, just looking in my mirror and just do a quick line along the top. A while since I used pencil line on the top. I think because I was hoping to do quite a thin line, but that doesn't work. It's a bit of a mess, actually, to be honest. Trying to even it out now. That is quite a thick line for my small eyes. That is so creamy. Like ridiculous how creamy that is. Let's do the other eye quickly. I think because of how small this is and um like if I pushed it up more it might be easier to but I think because of the size it's like making it a little bit difficult to get a very thin line. But I mean it's a pencil. It's not gonna be as thin as you could get it with uh if you were using a liquid eyeliner. That is smoother than the sip of good quality whiskey. If I may say so myself. A little bit of a whiskey drink every now and again. With Coke. I'm not a heathen. And by not a heathen, I mean I am a heathen. Because I can't drink it neat. Which is apparently the best way to drink it, but. Not thank you, sir. Not for me. I don't know what that accent was. Trying to wipe some stuff off my fingers. Um, I'm going to use the brown. This is exactly the same sort of pencil, shiny silver. It's a nice uh, mediumish brown, kind of darkish brown. Put that on my lower lash. 
I don't like to put black too much on my lower lash line because it just makes my eyes look really squinty. I find it difficult in general putting dark, like any line actually on my bottom lash line. Because you have to get it right in the waterline though, it kind of pulls my eye. Wow, how small does my eyes look? Is it even this brown? It's kind of dark. See, it's not a good look really on me, is it? Let me just show you this. I just kind of scribbled on the back of my hand a little bit so you can see the um, how brown that is. I say this is like kind of a on the dark side of brown, I guess, or the medium. I put the black next to it. You definitely get like, it's very pigmented these, so like you don't need to go over it several times to see the colour by any means. Look at that. That's good. I'm just thinking what can I do to like, make my eyes look less tiny. trying to keep this as like kind of neutral as possible because you know some people don't wear or wear too much makeup all the time I'm getting kind of summery vibes so there should be less makeup but maybe a pop of glitter in the corner and, uh, maybe that'll help my eyes look less small no no it really doesn't <laughs> just makes it like a weird patch of glittery uh, liquid eyeshadow. And that's Stila. Uh, the Magnificent Metals in Rose Gold Retro, which is a beautiful colour. It just seems very random. And my other. I don't know why I put that right down into my under eye then. Oh knob. <sighs> you know what I do need under my eyes I think to make that look better would be like a white pencil or you know like a gold or something to that would just make it look a little less harsh. And that's a lip liner. I don't really use white eyeliner because apparently you should use more like a nude colour. Because no, unless you've got very fair skin, nobody's under eyes are that pale, like that white. They said have it like a proper brightening effect, which is usually what people go for when they use white eyeliner. Just makes your eyes look weird. Is any of this coming out? Ugh, not really. That's terrible. Hmm. I got, I'm seeing like pink and greens and all these other wonderful colours and not the colour I'm looking for mind eyes and this help maybe got some silver silver jumbo eye pencil let's try that just trying to get it right in the waterline
I have a feeling these pencils, um, the Marc Jacobs ones, would look, they would be really good for if you put them on your lid and then use that to like smudge that all over your eyelid to do a smoky eye, that would look phenomenal like that. That's actually somewhat overlapped the brown the underneath, but it has brightened it. Whether or not that looks good is a different matter. I'm not sure. Got a bit of glitter still under my eyes. Trying to cancel that out a little bit. trickier than expected okay now this isn't part of the set but something I bought separately because I had such great things this is the Marc Jacobs velvet primer I think the color is called prime and it's like a like a nudie like a pinky nude if this will focus rather than a white primer <laughs> that did focus in the end let's get that on my lashes you know actually before I go any <gasps> camera stopped recording there just complaining about a twinge I got on my neck from when that uh, Marc Jacobs primer went flying I'm putting a bit of um, translucent powder on my lids to dry them. As in, like, you know, dry the oil because otherwise the eyeliner will, when I look up, it'll go up and I'll have like a weird semicircle up there. Just a joy of hooded eyes. Trying to be careful like to pat it on a little bit onto the actual eyeliner but without smudging the colour and I think I did that. That's the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder which I don't use much because powder actually makes me look cakey. So doing how I have oily skin and stuff like powder, which most people use, ends up making me look, it ends up drying my uh, face out, which is weird because my skin is very oily. It's somehow dehydrated and it's annoying because I, you know, I drink a lot during the day, uh, plenty of water. I drink, I mean, I use um, face oils moisturize my face you know I use a heavy moisturizer at night which is supposed to help to, uh, balance your oil so your skin will produce less oil because it's not dehydrated um, I take fish oils which is also meant to have the effect of um, you know making your skin less oily as all like you know the heart benefits and stuff that the other health things it does. So this is the Marc Jacobs uh, mascara from the mini set. I haven't used this yet, so um, a friend Rachel from that I went to secondary school with, or. She goes by Unicorn on Facebook. I don't know if that's an actual name change or not, but uh, she said this is really good as well. So, hi Rachel Unicorn. That is going on really well. Do you know I should have done? I should have put this mascara on this eye without the primer to uh, compare the two. Oh. 
this is not clumping when I do like a second layer and people call that a second layer and you watch it, it's more like these t five layers or something zigzag it to try and get the root thing is my lashes are very curly and I that's why I don't bother curling my lashes but they're not very long I've been tempted to buy a, a rapid lash you know which makes it grow especially when I saw that for I think it was like 27 pounds instead of like closer to 40 um, because Boots was having a sale and uh, I nearly got it because I tried to cut down on makeup because I got so much makeup and I'm not I don't think I'm a big enough YouTube person to have as much makeup as I do I do give some away to friends and that people who don't mind if I've you know um, swiped it a little bit I've got this product though that you put it over and it help it will sterilize it so I always do that as well before I give the bell. Do another coat. It's getting like a little bit clumped. Looking a little spidery. I'm not a massive fan of clumpy lashes. But this is not too clumpy that I hate it. But, I mean because of the black eyeliner that can you even see it I did use this primer with uh, the NARS Climax and what's that other mascara I've been wearing? oh the, the Snap Scara one which I believe is Maybelline um, I have to say I did notice a difference in the length that's all I want I want long lashes I don't want necessarily volumized I got a tiny bit on my lid here sometimes when mascara dries it you can just scrape it off with your nail I think that worked right next step is bronzer so warm up my face use my trusty bronzer brush it's my favorite one from look fantastic and using the nars laguna also a mini i've had this a while though this is not new i just don't use it that much i'm just using it to warm up my face really not contour it My window's closed, but you can still hear the train go past. Apologies for that, but there's not a lot I can do. You just want to put it where, you know, the sun naturally hit. You could do that, uh, number three. Which is like the classic way of just using bronzer to warm your skin rather than contouring. Is it just me or is this coming out like really light? Like I thought Laguna packed more of a punch. Maybe it's just me, maybe I just have high expectations. So far though, I think my makeup looks good, except for the eyes. Only because, oh that mascara actually has gone up a bit more onto my lids so that means it's not fully dried down yet which is interesting um got a little fallout no we'll examine that in a minute now what I need to do is get 
Actually, I've been using that Boing concealer for the last couple of days to do it. It does nothing. That's the benefit one. I'm trying to, like, you know, hide this. This colour is way too light, though. But it's, like, you know, a thick concealer because it's Amazonian clay. Top. Push that in and this. See, I just push it in, but it still just like fades a bit. It just uncovers the bit that I tried to cover up. It's like almost out. I won't be repurchasing it because even though it's Amazonian clay, it hasn't lasted very long. Just pat that with my finger instead. I think that coverage is a little better. I'll give that a minute and then I'll try to uh, fix that colour. My skin looks really glowy though. Which is the sheer foundation, I'd say. Now I'm going to use a new product that I got in the sale on from Cult Beauty. This is a very expensive blusher. For most people it's very expensive for me, especially for a mini. It's £22, but it's hourglass, and that's why it's expensive. Called um, Ambient Lighting Blush, in, in the shade is Diffused Heat. Look at that, it's one of those baked ones, so it has like two colours. Swirly prettiness. Let's take uh, this brush from... Um, BH Cosmetics. I swirled quite a lot because it's like very pink. Smile to find the apples. Bring it back to the temples. That is a really pretty shade of pink. I, think. I really like that. See, you wanna see so you wanna find the apples, but then you want like two finger space from your nose. So you know you haven't brought it, you know, too close. So when you stop smiling, you know, it's, it's a little lower on your face. And I really like that. I think I found a new favourite blush. My other favourites are, um, there's another NARS one that I really like. And it looks more red, but when you put it on, it's, it comes out lighter. This is stunning. I'll have to use this in the daytime to see, you know, do a wear test. Uh, some people put blush across their nose, it's supposed to give you like a sunburnt look. It's supposed to be cute. Don't know about that. But that's on, that's pretty. Uh, not done my brows. It's like a whole full face of makeup here. I got Anastasia Beverly Hills Mini. This is a dip brow in dark brown. This is a beautiful packaging, I think. Very nice gold. I uh, can't go wrong with shiny. This was in, from Cult Beauty in the sale as well. I forget how much it is. I never use a dip brow. It's kind of like makes me think of the Gimme Brow from um, Benefit. Like, am I supposed to use it at the same time as something else? You know, like with a pencil or something, or other pomade. Not sure, but I think that's defining my brows a bit. Quite like that. It's very natural looking. I'm not comfortable with heavy brows on myself just because I'm so not used to them so the fact that this is more natural look it is right up my alley and I hate doing the left eye because I have a really funky shaped brow so I need to just like 
suck it up and fork out for um, microblading. When I get my nails done, where I get my hair done in Cleveland, Identity, which is really great, they do. Uh, I get colour done there. I do. Um, Mm -mm -mm -mm. Just a wash and blow dry, you know, get it straightened. No complaint. So I've had a facial done there. So I totally trust them with my brows. It's just, well, they have a group on, but still, just paying eighty nine pounds just to for my brows to be done, just a bit like <clears throat> that's a lot. I get a little bit of that foundation. Whacked. I'm going to do something about this lightness. One more. Having the tart concealer there. I also found this place nearby. I need to read the reviews and see. That, I think they had good reviews though. They do like a proper glycolic peel. See, now that I've done that, it's just concealer just like faded a bit and you can just still see them so if I had a proper glycolic peel done it peels out you know the top two layers of skin it's only 50 pounds which I think is pretty good because you can get it um, done for a lot more expensive than that <sighs> oh yeah that was a rubbish one isn't it? This is the Marc Jacobs Lipstick in Slow Burn, Le Marc Lip Cream. Le Marc, ha ha ha, c'est français. It's so tiny, look at that. Like a little micropeen. Probably shouldn't say that. But that's what it makes you think of. Um, this is 1.7 grams. Nice little bullet. It's a nice like nudie pink. Pinky nude. I have a little bit of brown on my lips and the outer corners. I don't think I need a lip liner for that. Irish cream creamy got a little bit of uh, some bits on there but that was from that weird lip balm but ooh, 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 this is like James around mm, I feel good mm. so pretty ooh. should wear nudes more often I'm very much a pink or red girl I love orange lipsticks like orangey shades but on me, I'm a bit like, I'm not sure. But dang, dang, that's good. Ooh, let's use a gloss. Ooh, let's use that gloss. The gloss is Sugar Sugar Enamoured. High Shine Gloss Lip Lacure. And the number is 312. I think the lipstick had a number as well, didn't it? 246. Slow burn. Damn, you're slow burning your way to my heart. Put this on. That's so creamy. So creamy. I thought this would lighten the lipstick. I was thinking, oh, should I have waited for it to dry a bit more? That's shiny. That's very shiny. And it is a little pigmented. Oh, mama, that's good. Dang. I think I can like slightly taste it. Got that weird uh, little ring you get sometimes on gloss. Just pat that down. Sorry for using my middle finger. 
Now, if this didn't look good on me, I was going to use a different lipstick. So I got the Fenty Beauty Poutsicle in Tropic Tantrum, and this is neon. Like, me e e on. That would be interesting with this lip gloss, because the lip gloss would take down some of that pink. Take it down. Which might be a good thing. Now, last but not least, from the Marc Jacobs is the Dew Drops Do You Oh, it's Do You Dew Drops Coconut Gel Highlighter. Long ass name. It's in a little pump. Same size as that primer, which is, yeah, five mils. Look at that. It's very golden, valley. Oh. I'm always like a little unsure about putting highlighter on with my fingers. I don't trust it to go on well. And I did use this this morning. And I feel more comfortable with powders, i got to say. Or put in like a liquid highlighter slash cream. Um, you know, under makeup. I find this dry down super quick. That's how I wanted it to go. <laughs> Not how it went this way, so it went weird. It was like when you pat it down, it kind of goes like, takes up more volume, uh, not volume, surface area. Um, that's what I wanted. I'm not confident about doing this. I'm trying to get a little slight under my brows, just a little bit. I love how people look when they do it on their um, Cupid's bow, but my lips naturally don't have a cupid's bow. Um, the, was it Filtrum? Whatever you have there, Filtrum, something like that. I don't have it. Like it's very, very faint. I don't know why I was just born without it. But there we go. That glow is just like bang, bang. Thank you, ma'am. Oh. I just want it to like be a little bit more seamless into the bronzer and blush. I'm going to pat that down with the beauty blender that had the foundation on. That does smell really nice. Yeah, it smells it's nicely coconut, lightly coconut, not too much, just a little bit, just a little bit. Get this. This is making me feel weird. I'm like, oh, it's so good. I'm just like all over the place. Just so excited. So good. So good. Just make up so good. Calm down, Becky. Be a bit more bronzer on them tricks. Oh yeah, I didn't put any down here, did I? Oh, have you seen my earrings? How cute are my earrings? Oh focus. It's um star and then the moon and then the star and this star inside. It's like red. Like a ruby, but I'm pretty sure it's not a ruby. It was like I think four pounds ish in the sale from Yes Style. It came straight from Japan. Thank you, ma'am. I feel like I need to powder my face. Like if I was going anywhere, I'd want to powder my face down just so it's not oily. Bleh. But I don't really powder my face, so I'm like, why should I do that when it's not what I normally do? I feel like maybe I should, you know, if I want the longevity. But let's see. I started this at 9 o'clock. It is now. It's only taking me 45 minutes. That's not bad. So then how a little distracted I've been. It's only 45 minutes to do this. Um. Yeah, so I'm not going anywhere. I will try to leave this on until after, just after midnight and then I'll wash it off and see how long it lasted and then I'll wear it all again tomorrow <sighs> except for the 
eyeliner because it's too dark for my tiny little eyes. But, okay, my final thoughts quickly before my battery runs out and I have to start uh, a new section. My skin looks bomb.com, which is so cringe to say, but I do say it sometimes to Tom. Um, I think it looks freaking great. This is a, like, all round good purchases. My under eyes still look a little bit dry, but what can you do? Except for find a more hydrating concealer. Um, I'm gonna put, I've been using the new, I've never used the D Slick Urban Decay until recently. If someone said it wasn't good at oily skin, it still made their skin oily. Or like it made it more oily rather. I don't find that. I think my makeup stays on really well. I loved everything. This is great. I'm kind of shook at how good it all is. Like compared to when I put it on this morning, the highlighter looks better than I got it earlier. So like, mm, 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 mm. celebrate. Take this off as well. It's a little greasy though. It's also been freshly uh, relaxed like a week ago. So I need some dry shampoo later. But dang, my makeup looks good. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.